Hi, my name is Sean Sandy, Senior Inspector with Maricopa County Air Quality. We have about 22 monitors throughout the valley. These air monitors are extremely important because they are recording and sending information to the EPA. Generally what we have here in the valley, we have ozone problems and particulate problems, both dust, which is the big haboobs that come in, and then PM 2.5 is the smoke, and that can be from diesel cars or also people starting from fireplaces. When there's higher emissions and there's more exceedances, then there's more regulation and there's more fines. Which is bad. Very bad. When there's a spike in the monitors, we receive alerts, and then we react accordingly. Where is the camera located? It's right there. So you get the little windmill to the right of it. So before the cameras, when the alarms would go off at a monitor like Durango, you'd have to base it on your experience, going to the monitor and then scanning the perimeter. It usually took us an hour to drive out there, and by that time the values were low and we didn't know what was going on. You can see the little node on the top right there of the, the box. That's taking data in. So now that we have the camera here, oh, this is the camera over here on the Durango monitor. I'll be able to log in on my computer, pinpoint the location of the emissions, and then move directly to the source. Instead of having to canvas the area, potentially looking around for problems that don't exist, we estimated approximately $6,500 saved a year on things like gas. The Rapid Response Program is all about the name, Rapid Response. So you want to be able to receive the data, evaluate the data, and then respond accordingly and document our findings. That is the number one goal of this program. These cameras are just invaluable.